just enough is enough. Too dangerous to do business. City Winery in Ivy City is shutting down at the end of the month, and it's all over ongoing safety issues. Every week, a staff member's car was broken into. A couple of our employees being attacked on the street a couple of weeks ago um, was very tough. Owner Michael Dorf telling News 4 he has no choice. The popular restaurant, winery, event space opened in 2018 and will shut down by January 1, 2023, leaving 100 full and part-time employees without a job. We've hired a lot of security, but, you know, we can't hire armed guards to protect our own security. According to police data in the half mile radius surrounding City Winery and Ivy City, this year overall crime is up 16 percent. So far in 2022, property crime rising by 14 percent and violent crimes climbing 38 percent compared to last year. According to cops, the majority of those described as assault with a dangerous weapon. Some musicians will not come and play. They don't want to park their vehicle because they've heard other Bands have gotten their stuff stolen. Now all private events booked here for 2023 canceled or forced to find another spot. And while the artists set to play here, look for other venues for their gigs. I'm not as threatened. Gregory Caston, who owns Ivy City Smokehouse next door and other neighboring business owners singing a much different tune. I think every neighborhood in D.C. has those types of characteristics. You just have to be smart and keep your wits about you no matter where you are. And Dorf says they do want to relocate to another location in D.C. by the end of 2023, but no word on where or when. In Northeast, Walter Morris, News 4.